Hello Aquarius, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here with me today. I've got a very special treat for you. Guess who's come to bless your reading? You've all seen Thomas in my earlier videos, my white cat, but over here we have my very big cat, Winston, who is a Persian and he's usually very shy, but he's actually wanting to get involved. So I'm just trying to see if he'll come and say hello um he does love playing with his stick so <laughs> there he is so this is winston Um, i'll put a picture up he's quite a funny character a little bit grumpy um but he is very playful as well he, he's so funny and, and he's adorable of course and very fluffy with being a persian so i hope you're all well today aquarius i'm going to be doing an energy check-in to see what is coming up for you and the messages that you need to hear right now so let's get started shall we and see what the cards have to say for you today We're going to start off with the Mystic Martian Oracles to get your messages. I'll just let Winston have his little stick there to keep him occupied, hopefully. Um, and also don't panic, those candles are battery operated. They are not a real flame, so there won't be any fires or anything um, if, if Winston gets too close. So Aquarius, I think that you have been brought here for a reason. I always believe everything happens for a reason. So there will be some messages here for you. However, this is still a general reading. So some of it may resonate, some of it may not. Please take what resonates for you and leave the rest for someone else. If you would like a more personal reading with me, you can find that information in the description of the video. I've got a website, it's got all the details on, all my prices and the readings I do as well. I do try to keep my prices as low as possible so I can help as many of you as I can. They start from £5, I believe. Um, so, yep, yeah, if you do need a reading, just reach out. You can certainly grab one. Or if you have any questions, my email address is also in the description of the video. Aquarius, you've got four cards here. So the first card we have is Ebens. This card tells me that you are suspicious about something or you will come to be suspicious. There's going to be something going on, Aquarius, where you will be questioning we're questioning it. Sorry, I can't speak. Um, and I think you will be unsure of people's motives if this is a person or an outcome if this is a situation. I also see you having some kind of um, beginning of, of a project. It will be in the infancy stage and it's something that you're not quite sure of. This is the unknown and you are kind of treading deep waters here. Um, I think you will be listening to your intuition. Look at him. He's just watching us uh, do the readings. <laughs> there he is. So, yeah. It, you will have a hunch about something, Aquarius, and I definitely see you questioning um, something here. There is definitely something that just has you thinking, what are the possibilities? What could go wrong? What could go right? Um, and basically just having some healthy scepticism. And that's not a bad thing, you know. Sometimes it is good to be a little cautious. As long as we're not too overly cautious, that's the only thing. I have got star seed. It tells me that some of you are definitely star seeds. So your hunch or your intuition is definitely something that you should be trusting because you just have a sense or a knowing about things that other people just don't get. You have an inner awareness, Aquarius, and I think you just know yourself so well that you you know how you feel and you know um, how you are going to respond to a situation before it's actually happened. I can also see you connecting more with your memories. There's something about the past. Maybe this is a lesson from the past and you don't really want it to, to repeat itself. So therefore that might be causing the um, skepticism here. Maybe you are cautious because you just don't want to um, make the same mistakes again is what I'm hearing. Winston, you want your stick. <laughs> 
<laughs> Let me know in the comment section if you do have any pets. I love animals. Um, big animal lover. Cats are definitely one of my favourites. Uh, I have here the Men in Black card. It tells me that some people have their eye on you, Aquarius. Some people are definitely trying to do some digging here and see what's going on with you. They find you intimidating and there could be also be some um, confrontation coming up. So this is just a heads up, Aquarius. Uh, be mindful of this energy. Someone might be trying to come into your space. Maybe your hunch about this certain person or situation was right and it's going to play out how you think it is maybe you just know that there's going to be some um you know uh, hidden meanings or something wrong that's going to be happening with this and you are absolutely right the men in black card tells me that you will um come up with this obstacle and there may be some people who are a little bit too intrusive for your liking and i think you are going to stand up for yourself and say no and um, i'm going to set my healthy boundaries here uh, so that you can protect your own space which is absolutely fine Aquarius and I do urge you to do this no one should be snooping and um, you don't know what people will will do with that information that they gather they may have um, a friend or something that uh, that is an enemy of yours they may be snooping snooping for that reason so you just don't know Winston however knows no boundaries and he literally he just has me wrapped around his little paw, don't you? <laughs> I've got the Siren's B here and it's in the reverse position. So I think that if this is a person that you are dealing with, they are very immature as we've got this card. Um, it does represent immaturity. It also tells me that they do have the wrong attitude um, and they do tend to self-sabotage. If this is your energy Aquarius, then this is a gentle nudge to not self-sabotage. Be mindful of what you're doing and don't put obstacles in your way and um, allow yourself to succeed. But I do kind of feel like this person coming in has a chip on their shoulder and they are someone who just wants to cause trouble or they like drama. Um, and, and I do think that you may regret dealing with them, really. I think you may regret if you do trust them or if you have opened up to them in the past, you might regret that decision Um and you might regret trusting this person. So just be mindful of this energy coming in. Uh, stick to your intuition. Know that you um, have a gut feeling for a reason and trust in yourself. Now I am going to move this magnificent cat because he is a very big cat, as you can see. And he's taken up the whole table, aren't you, Winston? He just loves getting his strokes. He's so gorgeous. Um, but yes, I will be moving him. It's been lovely. And I'm so pleased he has blessed this reading for you, Aquarius. Very rare. In fact, this is the first time Winston has blessed a reading. It was usually always Thomas jumping on the table, which you'll see in my earlier videos. Um, but yeah, we will get the tarot cards. We need to make some room. And I definitely need to tidy this table up now. Thanks to Mr. Winston. So let me just um, get this tidied away one moment. Aquarius, if you're new here, then my name is Jade. I'm an Aquarius myself and I've created this channel dedicated to the wonderful sign of Aquarius. I do readings for Aquarius a few times a week, actually. So if you would like uh, to have more readings or, or view more readings with me, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and join the lovely community that I have growing here on this channel. I love my subscribers. They're all very supportive and I really enjoy reading your comments. If you do like this reading, if you found it, it has resonated with you in any way, please let me know in the comment section. I love to read them and I will uh, respond to each and every one of you. And if you could give this video a thumbs up, then that would be fantastic. It would be very much appreciated, Aquarius. So Aquarius, I'm going to see what is the good things coming up for the month of February for you I think it's good to just have a heads up just to see what's coming in what's this month going to be about of course it's my birthday month so I'm really excited for it my birthday is the 12th of February let me know when yours is
whatever you have planned for it Aquarius I hope you have a wonderful day and your wishes all come true remember Aquarius to take what resonates for you leave the rest for someone else but if you feel that this is not your reading then that's fine I will see you on the next one now let's see what we get oh the first one out good that one's death Scorpio energy Oh, an Aquarius, this is my special deck. It's called the Age of Aquarius Tarot and, and it's found on Etsy if you wanted to know. These cards do have added special cards as well as the traditional tarot cards. So if we get any, don't worry, I will, of course, explain everything for you. We've got quite a few out already. Wonderful. Hmm, okay. I know that one was in the block, so I'm just... But I do feel from its energy it's more upright but we will of course read both readings let's see what else we get for you Aquarius oops I dropped those put them back see if they come out again it's quite hard to shuffle these cards because they're bigger than um, usual but I think I'm getting better at it well I hope I am I've got the lovers card out that's Gemini energy so big decisions this this month Aquarius with the King of Swords hmm what's that one okay Aquarius so we've got one fly that flew over there flied <laughs> well, where does flied um and we have wow okay right Aquarius so the good things coming up for you this month it's going to be um quite different i i see here that you will have a big transformation this month here is all about transforming your energy a death of an old version of yourself so that a new version of yourself can be born the death card isn't a negative card at all for me it's a renewal it's um saying goodbye to a past version of yourself so that we can grow and transform our energy into something new a bit like a caterpillar coming out of its cocoon and spreading its wings to be the butterfly this is exactly how I envision the death card here and this is what this month will be bringing in for you Aquarius by the end of this month you won't really know yourself Aquarius I'm standing up so you can see these wonderful cards properly so you can see the pictures but but yes, definitely big, big changes this month, Aquarius. Not little changes, huge changes. Um, and this is going to be able to uh, allow you to transform your energy and basically come out of your shell. The two of swords in the block position tells me that the energy will be shifting. So there may be a difficult situation that you either have to make now or a difficult choice that you will have to make. But this will be easing for you so i think you are going to be getting the answers you need and you are going to be able to know which choice you should take so if something has been weighing heavy on your mind aquarius if you've been confused about a certain path you need to go on if you've been confused about something that you need to choose and um, a decision then this will be easing up uh, it won't totally be made clear to you but you will start to see it shift so that will be um, a good thing this month as well aquarius the six of cups in the block position tells me that you may have been reminiscing about the past maybe some memories keep replaying in your head um, and it's hard to get out of that energy sometimes but this this too will be easing this month so those memories those fond thoughts that you have that nostalgia um, it will be able to shift and I also see for some of you who have been stuck in your ways as well uh, you will also be able to see things from different perspectives you'll be able to learn from the past and you will be able to change how you do things now to benefit you if you have been feeling stuck in the past or that the past somehow has a hold over you um, then this will be changing it could be connections from the past it could be a situation from the past that you feel you can't really escape from and that it doesn't really um sing to your highest good right now 
but this will be changing for you. The two of pearls is you restoring this balance. It's in the blocked position. So it tells me that although you will not have complete, um, uh, you know, balance this month, it's definitely going to be shifting. And I do see you making them changes and coming back into harmony with yourself, maybe connecting with different memories from the past so that you can fit the puzzle pieces where they need to be and create the whole picture here so you can see things as a whole rather than just bits here and there and replaying bits that you don't really want to replay. You will be able to see it all um, which will allow you to make those decisions you need to make and definitely towards the end of the month a decision will be made. The lover's card is a big choice and um, a choice that will impact your life this is a major crossroads coming up this month aquarius i can see here that this choice that you will make it will basically transform everything for some of you there could be a new connection coming in there could be a start of romance this month as well where that would be handy for valentine's day wouldn't it you may have a date so yes definitely some of you are definitely entering entering into a relationship but for most of you i do feel this card has something to do with the choice because that is another meaning of the lover's card here it's definitely a path that you choose it's definitely something um big very big it could be a change of career it could be a change of location a change of partnership it could be anything but but really for most of you this choice is so big and it's going to have such an impact especially as we have the death card at the beginning of the month which is very strong energy and it's going to be um completely different to what you have become accustomed to so if you have felt stuck in a rut Aquarius, then this is the month. It will all be changing for you. The King of Swords tells me that you are going to be taking action. The King of Swords gets things done. And this month, this is your energy. The energy of someone who does take action, who isn't afraid to go after what they want. Someone who has a vision and they follow it. And you are going to be able to do this. I also see you given direct and clear instructions for other people. I see you knowing your own mind, having the clarity and the vision that you need to carry things forward. And most of all, making a decision, Aquarius, and sticking to it. You will know that this decision is the right one for you and this choice that you make um, will definitely be something that you will feel passionate about and you will be determined to achieve. I do see success coming in. I do see that you are someone who is able to complete whatever task that um, is put upon you Aquarius and this is what you will be doing. You will have a victory over this and you will be very strong minded over it as well. The ten of wands it's in the blocked. So this is you releasing this burden there's a bur been a burden on your shoulders um or there may be in the beginning of the month and it will be something that will be weighing heavy on you and i think this decision is something to ease that burden it's something to take those little ones off your shoulders so that you can move more freely and i think this is why we have it in the block it tells me you will be persistent it won't be an easy ride but you're going to go through it and you will come out the other end um, feeling liberated, feeling like you are able to breathe more easily and feeling that you are actually able to accomplish what you set out to accomplish. This will make your life easier. There's no doubt about it. This is going to make it a lot more easier for you than what you've been experiencing I've also got the four of pearls. Now, this tells me you are going to be very uh, careful of where you invest your time, your money, your energy and your effort. And that is brilliant. That is the key substance, what will bring everything together. It will tie everything up. You need to know where to invest everything, Aquarius. Make sure you get a return of on your investments because your time your energy your money your love your emotions all of that adds up 
And if you just keep giving and giving and giving and you don't get anything back, eventually you will feel drained. So this is what will ease that burden. As long as you stick to it, Aquarius, and, and be strict with yourself, because some of you are givers. Some of you do want to help, um, but you help too much. You give too much and you don't get anything back. So be mindful of this energy, Aquarius. I also see some of you investing in something and being able to save something. Um, maybe putting away some kind of funds. Your your money may be increasing so that you can actually put some savings away. And that is another energy of that card, Aquarius. Wonderful reading. I've absolutely loved it. And I'm so excited for February. Let me see what you don't see coming because you know how nosy I am. The Knight of Cups. Oh, some of you could have a love offer coming in. There's definitely come, someone coming in here who will offer you a cup. And by a cup, I mean offer you their heart. Cups represent emotions in tarot, as, as, long as, as well as the water in this card as well. So I definitely see someone opening up to you and also coming forward with a love offer. Or it can also represent you following your heart. We are heart's desires. Now, the page of pearls tells me that you will be building on something more sustainable you will be able to plant those seeds for the future and i see you feeling curious and um and setting out on a new adventure yes the fool card wonderful the fool card tells me a new start is definitely on its way for you aquarius there may be something hidden within this choice that you make which will open up new doors and i see you going through these doors even though you don't know the outcome so there may be a situation where you aren't totally sure of what will happen but you're still going to take that risk and i'm pleased that you do actually you're being very brave and you're able to follow up with what you want to do i do see new opportunities definitely a new start some of you could be relocating as well now we have one of these special cards which i was mentioning before the event horizon now this card tells me that some of you will be doing some shadow work. You may have to revisit areas of the past that you haven't really healed from. There could be some trauma. There could be some emotions that just need a bit of a work on Aquarius so that you can move forward into this new energy. I do see you letting go of any fears or any judgment. If you have been worried about what other people think of you, this will soon be changing. And I see you really embracing the truth of who you are. Wow. So what you will see coming on the flip side, Aquarius, Aquarius is the ten of swords this is healing this is deep deep healing and i see that you will be noticing all of your um your wounds you will actually pay attention to where those knives have been put in your back you will see what's happened why you are the way you are um how are you feeling this way what caused this and this is you really acknowledging yourself your journey and your experiences so that you can take a look at this and you can heal each and every one you will be able to take the knives out one by one is what i'm hearing as the um ten of swords is the, in in the wide right away tarot it is a man on the on his back with ten knives sticking out of him so you will be able to take each knife out of your back aquarius and that is the message i'm hearing for you so big month healing transformation and um being you know wary of where you're investing your time energy and effort and learning those lessons moving forward oh and a brand new start as well and also some romance wonderful now i'm going to do the musical oracles some of you don't like celebrities that's absolutely fine you can skip this part i will do the charms at the end aquarius so if this musician means anything to you if you just like them or you find that this message resonates then it validates the reading even further for you. We had mainly girls uh, last reading. Let's see who we get this time. I do love music and I love tarot, so why not combine them? Oh, there's two out there. We've got a mystery and we have James Brown. Another mystery. Diana Ross, I've been to see her, Nick Cave, 
then John Cage, I think. Okay, let's start with Nick Cave. Be sure to be the last guest at the Cannibals dinner party. Oh, I hope so. Um, embrace your limitations to become a wonderful disaster and waiting for inspiration is just waiting. It's a very good point. John Cage, don't fall in love with your first idea. Surrender to chance. And all great art contains at its centre contemplation yes that's very true diana ross so this card says make sure they never see the last of you if a job's worth doing it's worth doing in a ball gown and you can be a better you than anyone else of course I'm not sure about the ball gown though it might be a little difficult to do certain things certain things i would think um james brown knock them dead then leave don't quit moving until it's payback time. And when you're ready to get on up, it's time to get down. Okay, let's see what one of these mysteries is. We will go over here, I think. Oh, Lady Gaga. Turn bad romance into good business. Exaggerate your contradictions and become the star you were born to be. We are the star, Aquarius. Billie Holiday, if you are going to play, play with your whole soul and you have no understudy, sometimes losing beats winning. Well, with losing, we get lessons, don't we? So it's win-win. Then we've got Grace Jones. Learn to be your own sugar daddy. Harness the power of an unexploded bomb always waiting always ticking and to ensure survival prey must become the hunter use this oh patty smith jesus died for somebody's sins but not yours learn to make peace with eternal dissatisfaction and the most powerful form of rebellion is of the spirit that's very true so aquarians know all about being rebellious <laughs> Now let's do a yes or no question for you Aquarius if you have a question for the month of February or whatever really whatever yes or no question you can think of think of your question now I'm going to lay out 13 cards and you can match whichever question to whichever card you can of course choose more than one. And if you're not sick of me, Aquarius, there's a very special reading um, linked in the description of the video called The Big Year Read. And it's a look into each and every month of the year 2024. It's all time stamped as well, so you can go back and forth as you choose. Now, this is the cards. I'm going to lay out 13, as I said before. This is card number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, six seven eight four nine ten eleven twelve and thirteen i'll give you a few seconds aquarius so you can um, match whichever question with whichever card pause the video if you need to So card number 13, it's not the right time, but it could be in the future. Card number 12, it's unlikely. If you've chosen that card, the answer is unlikely, unlikely to happen. Card number 11, you're going in the right direction and this is your confirmation. Card number 10, the answer is a very strong no if you've chosen that card. Card number 9, reconsider so you've got better options out there Aquarius make sure you uh, have a look at all of them options and pick the right one for you card number eight there is no need to worry so if you have been worrying about the situation Aquarius there's no need everything is going to be okay card number seven is a very strong yes if you've chosen that card card number six I can pick it up is listen to your intuition you already have the answers inside Aquarius trust in your gut instinct card number five oh, over here yes that one was definitely card number five and um, this is your sign so this is the sign that you should do something or that it will go your way so if you've chosen that card this is the sign card number four 
choose a new direction there's definitely a better alternative have a think of what that could be aquarius you'll get better results card number three go the time is right so take action get a wiggle on get moving the time is now go for it you will not regret your decision and card number two let go let go of um, your need to control the situation let go of any anxiety or worries allow the universe to do its thing and trust in the process easier said than done i know and card number one get more information so you need to do a bit more research around this situation aquarius and that will help you on this journey there's also something that you could be missing so make sure that you have a look at everything aquarius i've loved this i'm going to get your charms for you but first i have been thinking of doing some more readings for you some different kinds so if you can think of any readings that you would like me to do aquarius i'm open to suggestions and i'd love to hear them so drop them in the comment section if you would like to look at um, specific areas of your life like career love um, you know anything just let me know in the comment section i will certainly do that for you this is our channel and i want to make this channel all that you want it to be so just help me do that and we will make this a great one i promise and don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well it really does mean a lot and it makes a huge difference now let's get your charms excuse my fluffy jumper it's cold today we've got quite a lot for you aquarius so the first charm we have out is a feather and of course this represents presence of an angel there could be a loved one that is watching over you right now keep an eye out for feathers aquarius that is a big big sign of them especially if you find them in random places i've got a lovely little fairy here now this one represents femininity and beauty it tells me that you are beautiful on the inside and on the outside aquarius i've got a peace symbol here telling me that peaceful times will be coming towards you if some of you have been struggling this will be shifting and you will reach a place of tranquility oh so we've got a lovely little ladybug here it's a shame you can't really see it i don't know if it'll focus it's quite cute see if i can no, I'm not going to get it to focus. I do apologise. See if that helps. So the ladybug or ladybird represents luck, abundance, happiness and playfulness. So your luck is about to change Aquarius and you, you will see your finances increasing. You are going to reach a place of abundance, which is wonderful. The hamster hand. Okay, so this represents career happiness so if you've been unhappy in your job that will be changing it's also a representation of luck so you're definitely going to be a uh, very lucky aquarius it's also representing health as well there's the butterfly representing transformations you coming out that cocoon and spreading your wings but of course it's also messages from our loved ones in spirit keep an eye out for butterflies it doesn't have to be in real life could just be a picture um, we've got the number eight so this uh, number eight represents the energetic vibration of personal power hidden talents your finances increasing and determination it also tells me that you will have resources and they will be infinite to you you have unlimited um potential as well un untapped potential aquarius also number eight may be um significant to you so you may have an eight in your birthday or something like that and it just validates the reading even further i've got a young boy here and this represents a child some of you may have a son or a young uh, man in your life and this of course validates the reading even further it can represent the relationship you have with this child that it's a strong bond um but it also represents that that there could be some adjustments there's also an adolescent energy there's masculine energy around you as well aquarius and also i'm hearing to connect more with your inner child and have some fun okay so aquarius i've really enjoyed this i hope you have as well and it has helped you i want to wish you a fantastic month of february fantastic week as well whatever you're doing love and light to all of you stay safe take care and above all else aquarius be happy so bye for now aquarius thanks again for being here and don't forget to subscribe see you on the next one toodle pip